Uh, hi, um, in this video I am going to talk about this scale-out pattern. Um, the objective of this pattern is to uh, increase the number of servers uh, dynamically, uh, uh, increase or decrease the number of servers dynamically to be precise. So the problem statement is that, <coughs> so assume that we have an application uh, and uh, we, we deployed that uh, application as an EC2 instance and uh, we have we have we have high traffic and then if you want to handle the high traffic the first and uh, the VC approach is that changing the server specifications so we can change the server specifications such as instance type or we can increase the memory and all uh, but the problem with this approach is that uh, we can't change the service specifications after a certain point so uh, we can change the service specifications from the instance type from small to large from large to extra large but if 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 it's too uh, if it's if the traffic is very high if the load is too high then we can't we can't use this approach so we need to find a way to handle high traffic so this pattern this scale pattern um, says that uh, you can increase the number of servers um, so by increasing the number of servers uh, we can uh, we can handle high traffic here so let's see how uh, amazon implements uh, implement this pattern um, in the in aws so here uh, we have ec2 instance and the ec2 instance is hosting the web application here and we have elastic uh, load balancer so load balancer redirect the request to the appropriate ec2 instance here so here um, so so the first step is to set up the set up auto scaling uh, here so auto scaling needs to use the amazon machine image so uh, we need to do the setup here and then uh, we need to have the proper monitoring in the cloud watch so cloud watch is going to monitor uh, different metrics uh, such as um, cpu use rate of a particular ec2 instance and or among the number of amount of traffic uh, network traffic and also the number of uh, sessions uh, and also elastic block store latency and many things so cloudwatch is going to monitor all these metrics and then cloudwatch also has role based alarm here so if if specific conditions are satisfied and if it is too uh, if the traffic is uh, high then cloudwatch uh, alarm would be triggered and this cloudwatch alarm is going to notify auto scaling so auto scaling it's going to launch an, uh, um, a, a new ACT uh, instance with this Amazon machine image and then it's going to host the this new ACT uh, instance is going to host that applications and this will be added to this existing ACT cluster so this is going to increase the number of servers thus also increase uh, uh, so this also helps us to handle the load as well so if you, uh, so this elastic load balancer is going to redirect the request to this uh, um, ec2 instance as well so in this way we can handle high low high traffic and uh, the other way also it would work so if it is little traffic then it, we don't need to maintain we don't need to keep many ec2 instance so what we can do is we can we can set up different rules here and then cloudwatch triggers the uh, appropriate alarm and this alarm notify auto scaling so auto scaling what it can do is it can take down one of the existing ec2 instance where it does not have any traffic so in this way we can also reduce cost and to ha and also we can handle the heavy load as well if so we can dynamically increase or decrease the number of servers based on the uh, uh, traffic so thank you uh, i will um, i will add the uh, title uh, the link of this article uh, in the description of my video uh, please take a look at it and if you have any questions or comments please add your uh, add everything in the comment sections thank you